to be bought and search or recommendation. Uh, the learning to rank uh, mainly represent each items, each items with the manually uh, designed uh, feature vectors and, and, and learned from, from with the labeled data. And uh, the, the learning to rank use this labeled data to learn a globally global ranking function, and the ranking function gives each item, uh, each item, each item, uh, sorry, each item a score, a score, and then uh, gives the ranking result according to the score. So we can see that for the learning trend, existing learning trend, the scoring process is independent for each item because each item has an independent feature vector and an independent score. However, as shown before, for the recommendation apps, uh, a larger amount of items was recommended to the uh, users at the same time, and all these items are displayed in a uh, top-down manner. So, uh, there are mutual inf influences between items. Let me give an example. You can see that if we recommend uh, three, type, three, three types of different shoes, we mean shoes. Uh, to the users and the all and the click through rate of these three items may be increased because people uh, because the users are curious about the differences between these shoes. The other uh, case example is that if we recommend exactly the same same type of shoes to the users whose price is differently, uh, most of the people will not click the, the expensive, the, the one which is more expensive, but only click the, the, the cheaper one. So we can see that the cheaper one affects the click-through rate of the expensive ones when they are recommended together. Besides the redundancy, there are also supplement cases. Uh, if we recommend a shoes uh, to the users and place a uh, soaker beside the shoes, the click through rate of the soaker may be may increase because uh, the soaker can act as a supplement to the shoes. So we can see that the user's decision may be affected by the items placed alongside uh, the certain items, either negative or positive influences. Besides the mutual influences between the items, the user plays also an important role for the recommendation. Here we give another example. If we recommend, sorry, recommend dresses for both user A and user B, and for the user A, the shoes may be act as a supplement, but for user B, the necklace is a supplement to the dress. So if we wrongly recommend necklace and put it alongside the dress in the recommendation, the click through rate will drop. And in another case, if a user A is a user who is sensitive to the price, so he will not click the expensive ones. But for user B, if he is not sensitive to the price, these all three items will not affect each other. So we can see that different people will react differently for mutual influences. Okay. So to address the above challenges, we propose the personalized ranking method. The existing learning to rank method will know that it uses the feature vectors, feature vectors, feature vectors of the items to predict the click possibilities, and the model is trained to minimize the loss function between the click labels and the uh, possibilities. For our ranking model, we use the sorted list of the items generated by the initial ranker, which can be a learning to rank ranker. And we, but we, we consider the mutual influences between items and the user preferences and to predict the conditional uh, click possibility of the item and to minimize the loss function. So we can see that the ranking is, can act as a refinement of the learning to method. 
uh, for the personalized re-ranking method, there are two kinds of uh, problems need to be solved. The first one is how to modeling the item dependencies, and the second one is how to how to adjust the mutual influence mutual influences between the items according to different type of person. Here we use the attention based uh, model to directly model in the relationship between any two items and we use the personalized user preference vectors act as the personalization item dependency. So let's give a quick view of our model. So this is the our, the overview of our model and we take the initial list as input and give a reorder list. This is the input part. We use the same feature vector as the learning to rank, but we, we consider the consider the initial rank of the initial ranker and we plus X and P to generate the hidden embeddings of items. And this is the important part and here we use the transformer like uh, architecture to model the uh, influences between items. So we get the uh, thanks to the uh, multi head attention and after one block of transformer, the hidden vector of each item is the weighted sum of the embeddings of other items. So it contains the mutual influences of other items to this item. So this is the encoding part. And this is the output layer. For the output layer, it takes the hidden vector as input and followed by a, a fully collected layer of neutral network and soft, soft, soft max layer and to generate the conditional portability, click portability and acts as a score. According to this score, you can reorder, give a reordered list. Another important part of our model is, is the personalized vector. Here we use the hidden hidden layer, hidden vector of a bridging model instead of manually designed features because uh, firstly it the hidden vector can contain more information and the second one is bridging the model can utilize the a long term of user click history to better uh, utilize the better present the user's preference. Uh, okay, let uh, introduce some. Uh, uh, experiment results of our model, and uh, we evaluate our models on two different uh, different data sets, one from Yahoo data set and the other from our own data set. <laughs> because they are slow uh, existing re-ranking data sets, we construct the re-ranking data set and we release this to the public. So this is baseline, uh, the learning to read method and the re-ranking method. We use the traditional uh, matrix and the online matrix. Uh, the following part is organized to, to answer the following questions, research questions. Uh, the first one is, does our model outperforms the state of the art and does the perform performance vary according to the initial list? The answer is, our uh, model achieved stable and sustainable, sustainable performance compared with all business, regardless of the initial list. And the second one is the performance scheme of the re ranking method is mainly come from the powerful encoding ability of the transformer. And the third uh, third question is what's the performance of our model if we consider the personalized module? We can see that if we add the personalized module, our uh, model can uh, perform greatly. There's, there are uh, significant performance gains compared to the R model, the base, base version of R model. And the third question is, uh, can, the fourth is, can self-attention mechanism of transformer do something useful? The answer is yes, and we can see that we visualize the attention weight, and we can see that the attention between the men's shoes and the women's shoes is larger than the uh, attention between men's shoes and computer. And the, the items with similar price level can have higher attention weight. So let's uh, conclude the paper. And uh, in this paper, we uh, propose a personalized and ranking method to refine the uh, initial list given by the state of the art learning to rank method. 
and we use transformer work to uh, encoding the dependencies between two items directly, and the personalized vector is really important to our model, and we also release the real-world ranking data set for other people to optimize the ranking algorithm for the system. Thank you. Okay, next question. Yeah. It's time for questions now. So we have a nice question from the audience. Please raise your hand and the, uh, the volunteers will run the mic over to you. Okay, I see a question over there. Oh, yes, in the back. I'm curious about the user preference vector and how you're keeping it up to date. Also, is this a production system or is this just research? Okay. <laughs> uh, you mean the fertilized vector? Yeah. Okay. So this is, uh, uh, obviously this fertilized vector can also be bent together with the remaking method. But in our, uh, we are product system and we have uh, conveniently, the, the pre-trained model, which is the uh, click through reach model, so we can easily get this this uh, personalized vector from the hidden layer. But uh, this can utilize the long-term preferences. But you can also use some manually uh, design features or other, uh, or you can learn it together with the rejection model. It's, it's, it's both fine. Am I answering your question? I'm more interested sort of in the frequency of update and how you're keeping it active with, you know, users are actively browsing the site, they're making decisions, they're, they're changing their preferences. How are you taking that into account for a user preference vector? How are you keeping it up to date? Does that make sense? Uh, sorry, sorry, uh, can, you, can, you, can you explain a little bit? So, users are coming to the site, and they're browsing, they're changing. you talked about a pre-trained vector, so that's calculated at some point in time. Okay, okay. But users come and they change their preferences, they view new things, they browse other items. How, how do you keep it up to date for the user's current preferences? Okay. Uh, so you uh, this is the relatively long term, long term, but if the user preference is changing uh, rapidly in this ranking model, uh, so this is only uh, only uh, initial version of the of the reactive model, and this is learnable. So in the reactive model, it can use more real time user logs or more real time user uh, user history. So it can learn more uh, preference of, of users, more dynamically or more uh, real time. I mean. Okay, so we're going to. Uh and the Q and the A there. Uh, please do uh, speak to each other uh, during the lunch, during the coffee breaks too. Uh, we'll move on to the next speaker.